this is like re-examining something most of us lived through. Many people didn't. I have a lot of young friends who experienced that answer and were like open mouth, thinking, yeah. I had no idea that this was going on. I had no idea that this was the, the, the back story of where we are today. And of course, for those of us in my generation, we've lived through all manifestations of it from the 50s on, where from Stonewall and the raids and all the rest of it to marriage and equality and children. As we were rehearsing it, legal people in black robes were saying, a gay relationship is equal to a straight relationship. I didn't think I'd love to see that. It's hard to accommodate all of that has happened to our culture. What about the laughs? I mean, I, 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 I do think sometimes when I look at where humor was in the 20s, my father was a great storyteller. He did accents. He, did, he made fun of I, the Irish, he made fun of the blacks, he made fun of the Russians, the Jewish, everything. He had, an, he had a story, people, tears streaming down their faces. Mm -hmm. It's all gone now. Mm -hmm. and, and that kind of di dialect comedy. It's and gone. It's a yeah, huge it's part totally of Totally gone. You can't yeah. do it. Can you do Dago? I guess uh, I could. Uh, no, that sounds vaguely Swedish. <laughs> Polak! Nobody's afraid of Polak! I tried to click in with my memories of realizing I was gay when I was younger, which would have been the late 60s, early 70s, and what the information I was getting yeah. of what a gay life was going to be, right. which wasn't pretty. No. It was the punchline, people forget, it, to be gay was the punchline of every comedian's joke on every afternoon talk show. So I grew up knowing that I was wrong, I was a freak, I was an object of ridicule, but then the craziness on top of that of me laughing at it, because it was a funny line, and it was a funny joke, and I thought, if I can sit in that place, if I can get the despair and the loneliness and the fear with the absolute genius of the comedy, the so, mu the so funniness, of it, that would be great. You know, I think it was a hard play for people because it doesn't let you off the hook. There was an innocence in the presentation of gay life or a gay person in the Nance that you can be offended by a little bit, but after a while you just sort of succumb to it. And just go, oh, he's, he's so sweet. Doesn't necessarily mean I'm a bad person.